Hey guys, this is a look that I came up with for my very first video. Um, it is a very basic, simple look. It's fall appropriate and it took me no time. I was actually in a hurry when I came up with this. I just wanted to look put together but I didn't have time to do um, eyeshadow or anything, not even eyeliner. Um, most of what this is is face, makeup, and lipstick. And this lip color makes it possible for you to be able to get away with not wearing any eyeshadow at all, but still look like you tried a little bit. Um, one thing that I will say in this intro that I should have said in my video, but I got completely sidetracked, is I said that there were two things that I believe are the most important when applying makeup. I got really sidetracked and just like rambled on and on and never mentioned what those two things were. So the first thing is eyebrows, and the second thing is under eye concealer. And the reason why I say, the reason why I think that is because eyebrows, some people go ham, too crazy, they overfill them or they forget about them and you look like you have no eyebrows. And then the uh, the second one, the under eye concealer, is because most people have under eye bags due to lack of sleep um, or because they're hereditary, which is the reason why I have under eye circles all the time no matter how much I sleep. Um, yeah, so those are the two things that I should have said, um, which I will talk about in the video, I guess, a little bit. Um, yeah, if you want to see how to get this really simple look, keep watching. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is apply my concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me um, in the color 10 Light. This is my favorite concealer. I have a, I have a few, um, one that's expensive and a few that are inexpensive drugstore concealers. But I prefer this one over all of them. I reach for this almost every single day. Um, I love to use this concealer as foundation as well. I don't use it when I want to do a full face of makeup. I use it when I'm in a hurry and I want my complexion to look even. I dot this all over my face and blend it with a um, foundation brush. Um, curl my eyelashes, apply mascara, maybe some bronzer to give dimension to my face and I'm out the door. So what I'm going to do, um, first of all, I like to say that um, I have hereditary dark circles. No matter how much I sleep, I will have dark circles. Um, so my favorite thing to do for myself to make me look awake and like I actually slept eight hours is to conceal. I don't think I can go anymore of that concealing my under eyes because I don't. I just think I look kind of vampy, not in a good way. So what I like to do, the way that I'm going to do this today... Um, is to apply this and I'm gonna be looking to the side because my mirror is right next to me so I just apply it like concealer like you would I drag it up to this between my nose and my eye because if you don't do that you will still look like you have dark circles and then I dot this all over my face not, uh, again, not for a full coverage effect, but um, to make myself look like I have a little bit more of an even complexion. I don't know if you can tell in video, but I can see that I have a little bit of redness around my cheeks and I have freckles and sun damage, I'm sure. So I might have some uneven texture in my face. So I like to, when I'm in a hurry, this is a technique that I like to use. You can use any brush. I, I guess you could use like a semi-dense brush to blend this out. But my favorite way to do it, especially if I'm in a hurry, is just to use my fingers. I'm going to put a little bit more. So I blend this out just by tapping it. I just tap, 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 tap until until it's blended and then I drag this on my eyelids because my eyelids are a little bit red and I have veins all over the place and that's not cute so I just blend this with my fingers around my eyes so this can also work as a eyeshadow primer if you don't have one and if again if you're in a hurry because this is the look that I'm going for then I'm going to take a foundation brush 
<clears throat> this one is a Morphe M439. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. Maybe there's a glare, but this is my favorite um, buffing brush, I guess, if you will. Um, you can't get this in a store unless you live in California. Um, I think they have Morphe is a brand that has a store, well, obviously they're online, but they have an actual brick and mortar store in Burbank, California, if I'm not mistaken. I live in Utah, so that's too far away. And I just literally blend this all out to make myself look a little more presentable. Um, I will not do this alone if I want to do like a dark eye or dark lips because that's not, this isn't enough. This isn't enough. You need a more full coverage foundation if you're trying to go for that look, in my opinion. So, face is done with my concealer. Now what I'm going to do is apply this um, powder. This is the MAC Studio Fix in NC30. This is the most expensive product that I'm going to be sharing with you today. Um, you can actually skip this all together if you don't have it, if you don't want it, if you don't want to buy MAC. That's totally fine. You can use any powder. If you want to set what you just put on your face or you don't have to set it at all, this actually wears very, very nicely. Uh, um, if I have worn this without setting it with a powder before. And throughout the day, I feel like it looks better. Like it makes me look glowy in like a good way, not like in an oily way. Um, but if you, if you want more coverage, you can use um, a powder, whatever you have. Or like I said, this powder foundation, this will give me more coverage. The way that I apply this is I actually really like this um, little sponge that it comes with. But it gets dirty really fast, so I don't like to use that. I like to use something that I can wash. And I have this e.l.f. powder brush that I got from Target. And it cost $3, and it's awesome. I love all of e.l.f.'s um studio brushes I think they're really good so I use this to apply this powder and I'm just going to sloppily do this because I want a little more coverage and I don't want to be as shiny as I look in my mirror also doing this will help the um, bronzer that I'm getting to show up a little bit more. Um, the next thing that I did was actually um, bronze. And the, the product that I used yesterday in the picture is this NYC Sun and Bronze in the color Montauk Bronze. It's 709 if you care. Um, I really, really love this. I have a million bronzers and maybe I will share with you my bronzer stash one day but I reach for this more than anything I reach for this more than like expensive bronzers that I have the only thing that you might not like from this is that it's a little bit light so it's it takes a little bit to build um with but actually I like that because you can like rub your brush so much in this and if you go straight to your face, you won't look like you have a streak, like a clown, when you first apply it. Like, I don't know if you can tell yet, but I can see that I have a little bit more color on my cheeks. But I, I, I don't have, like, this nasty, like, bronzer streak on my face. Um, I like to take my bronzer up to my temples and to my forehead a little bit to give myself more of a sun-kissed sun look. And then I also like to do that to my nose because sometimes the, the tip of my nose will look too white if I don't compare to like my cheeks. So I just sloppily do this. Um, that's enough, I think. I'm, I don't think I've mentioned, but this is also an e.l.f. Studio brush. This is the complexion brush. And I use this for everything. I use this for powder, bronzer, um, blush, everything. I love this. 
Again, it's three dollars. I have washed this a million times and it's still so soft. The only thing that happens if you wash it is that this the glue will um it will unstick the the paddle will unstick from whatever this is called. Um, if you get it wet, if you get it wet up here. So if you if you're really careful and you just wash the bristles and don't get water in here, you might be able to make yours last longer. But I was really sloppy when I started learning about brushes. So mine is kind of loose, but it's not a big deal because I can just grab it from the base and I can do whatever. So for blush, the uh, blush that I used yesterday in the picture is a, it's called Mellow Wine and it's by Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild is amazing. If you don't like to spend a lot of makeup but you like makeup, you can get almost anything from Wet n Wild and and spend nothing and have a makeup collection. Their eyeshadows are amazing, their blushes are amazing, and their lipsticks don't even get me started. But I'm going to talk about that a different day because this is going to be way too long already, I can tell. So, I, this is this is kind of an intense blush, so you have to be careful. Um, you can actually like tap it on the back of your hand so you don't look like a clown when you apply it to your cheeks and then I just like tap off the excess and tap it on my hand and then go on my cheek so that's what that's that's basically it for my face now what I did um, one thing that I can still do right now but I forgot to do which I'm gonna do now because I can just fix it easily is set my under eye concealer because if you don't set your concealer it will crease and you will look like you have white streaks underneath your eyes so um, again with this elf apparently um, theme that I have going on I'm using the blush brush to set my under eye concealer I don't know why this is called the blush brush because it's way too small to apply br like blush like my cheek is way too big for this little thing but I really like it to set my under eye concealer um, and the powder that I'm gonna use again is a Maybelline fit me in the color 120 classic ivory um, this may look really white I mean I don't know it does look really white in the pan but it doesn't show up as white as it is and if it does I really like the effect that it gives my under eyes so I'm just gonna set my entire eye whatever my my cream products that I use I'm gonna set that otherwise like actually immediately it'll crease and you will look not good so the next thing is um, eyebrows now two of the most important things that you can do to look put together in my opinion this is an expert opinion. I don't consider myself to be a makeup guru or whatever. I just really like playing with makeup. And if you had asked me back in December, I would have said, I actually did say this to my husband because I bought a, um, I bought like a, a Christmas kit from Sephora of the best sellers. And in that kit, they had the Anastasia uh, Brow Wiz. And I, I liked everything that I got in the kit, but the brow is. I was like, I don't really see myself using this. I'm not an eyebrow person. Like, I don't really think I need to do my eyebrows. And now, if I don't do my eyebrows, I feel like they just look like two hairs. I mean, I know I my eyebrows are not sparse, but if you do a full face of makeup, you cannot skip eyebrows because your eyebrows will drown in the rest of your makeup. And I think um, a lot of people are crazy with their eyebrows. It, they either go crazy, like their eyebrows look like caterpillars, or their eyebrows are non-existent. I think, I like to think mine are somewhere in the middle. I don't like to overfill, but um, my eyebrows aren't naturally like an amazing shape. My little sister has really good eyebrows, and she doesn't need much, need much help, but I feel like I need help shaping mine. And since I haven't gone to gotten, get my eyebrows done in a really long time, I'm just gonna give the effect with um, this elf eyebrow kit and mine is in the color medium they have this stuff in dark um, medium and light and the light is I think way too light for me and the dark is definitely way too dark so this is really good 
as you can tell, I love this stuff. I have gone a little bit ham on the wax side. This is wax and this is powder. You're supposed to put the wax on first and then set that with the powder, but I always go heavy handed on the wax, so I don't really use too much of the powder. So what I like to do is just to start up there and to give my eyebrow a little bit of a lifted appearance. I am not going to go nuts on my eyebrows. Um, another thing is don't make faces when you're doing your eyebrows because if you lift your eyebrow and you draw it in, then you will have one eyebrow that's like arched all the way up. So just relax your face and um, follow the natural shape of your eyebrow. In my case, I'm going a little bit higher, but not really higher than the hairs. I'm just giving them a little bit of a lifted appearance, especially this right side looks a little bit droopy to, to me. So I just especially like to do this one, even though I always start with my right side, my left, my left side, you're right, I think. Um, and then you just like draw the tail. I don't really think that's too much, um, maybe too much for some people and their taste, but I think it's necessary, so, and then I just go, I just fill the powder somewhere in the middle right there. I'm really good at these videos, at these videos if you can't tell. Okay, now, you guys are going to think I'm sponsored by Elf and Maybelline. But I'm not. I just really enjoy these products. They're amazing and inexpensive and why not love them? So the color that I was wearing in that video yesterday is this. This color is awesome, especially for fall. I'm going to swatch it right here. This is what it looks like. This is called um, Nude Nuance and it's 657. And I'll just show you right there. This is what it looks like. Um... I'm not going to be using the bre the mirror that I have in front of me. I'm going to use a different one because I like to get closer for my lipstick because I don't want to be drawing, like, over drawing my lips. So, I just apply it and then do that. And then I draw this sweetheart thing or whatever it's called. I don't even know. I don't know anything. I just do. I just do it. Now, you're probably wondering why I haven't done mascara yet. And the answer is because my mascara application is, I don't know. I just like to do mascara last because it's probably because I curl my eyelashes and my eyelashes are don't always work with me. So I like to leave this for last in case I need to fix it or whatever. I don't know. Um... Apparently, I didn't show you what kind of mascara I'm using, so I'll do that after I'm done with this eye. But I always use waterproof mascara because, and I'm going to sound like a broken record, it's because of my the way that my eyelashes grow. They grow downward. So, um, I have to use waterproof mascara if I use mascara that's not waterproof. After I curl them, the eyelashes will go from curly all the way down. And waterproof mascara for me works like um, hairspray for my eyelashes. It just, it holds the curl. And a lot of people will probably say that, tell me that they hate waterproof mascara. But to me, it's necessary. And if you have um, a makeup remover that's like oil-based or whatever, it takes a little bit to scrub it off. But it, to me, it's worth it. Because I'd rather have curly eyelashes that stay with my waterproof mascara than to have regular mascara that's easy to take off and then my eyelashes look like they're not even there. Because if my eyelashes go down, then I look like I have no eyelashes. My my eyes look really weird and I don't like it. And um, so yeah, I mean, I'm sorry for putting the mirror in front of the camera, but I'm not a professional, so forgive me. All right, so I have tried a bunch of mascaras and for the longest time the one that I loved and that I used was the Maybelline Lash Stiletto waterproof again and I love it and 
I still use it because I still have it. But I used to use this in high school and I could, had completely forgotten about it. And then I was at Rite Aid, I don't know, a month ago or something, and I saw this and I was like, let me try it again. I haven't used it in a really long time, and this has become my favorite mascara. Again, I don't really know how the non-waterproof version works. Um, I'm sure it's as great as this waterproof one, but this is the Maybelline Full and Soft uh, Mascara. I really like it because it adds enough volume as well as length at the same time. And it holds my curl. And I really like the wand because it's not one of those um, rubber wands. I don't like those things. If you do, that's awesome. But it does. It just doesn't work for me. So I, I don't like to use it. So that is it. Um, this is a finished look. I don't believe I forgot anything. Um, let me know what you thought of this video honestly I just wanted to do this as a test run to see if people are even interested in my opinion like I said I'm not a professional I'm not a makeup artist and I just really like to play with makeup and my sister is always asking me questions about like how to get different looks or what color this lipstick or eyeshadow is and so I figured that this would be a fun way to not only answer her questions but Everybody else is, anybody that's interested in makeup, I just like to talk about what I have. I have um, tried a lot of different products and I like to share my opinion about them. And if you care, let me know. Um, subscribe for more videos if you like this video. Um, leave me comments down below if you liked it and, and asking me like something that you would like to see, a, a makeup look or a question about a lipstick or whatever. If I don't have it, I will probably go run out and buy it because I just find any excuse to buy more makeup. So yeah, let me know what you thought. Um, thank you for watching. I'm sorry this is probably 20 minutes long. At least that's what it's felt like. Um, and I will see you hopefully in my next video. Bye.